Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wyverns and Weirdos. Before we get started, do we have any announcements? Um, I'd like to announce that I am officially the uh, nerdiest member of Wyverns and Weirdos. <laughs> Debatable. Debatable. However, um, follow us on all our social medias. We do fun stuff there. Tweet us. Use the hashtag Wyverns and Weirdos. We love you. Always, thank you for all the attention and love. Absolutely. We love you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Agreed. Yes. No, that was a segue to your announcements. Um, I'm going pretty good. What about, what about you, listeners? How are you going? Just tell me. Vent, let it vent. Oh, yeah, nah, I'm doing all right. Are you a listener? You are a listener. Yeah, get <laughs> on. Well, I have no announcements other than how I'm doing right now. So, what about you? Excellent. Um, yeah, I'm doing pretty great. Thanks again to our wonderful listeners. I think you'd be even more wonderful <laughs> if you had some Bernie's Elixir. I know we've not been talking about that very much in the podcast, but, like, um, like write and complain about that and <laughs> we'll make it yours. It will happen. Uh, yeah, it's all great. So, yeah, I hope you're having a good week. And if you're not, I hope it turns up soon. <laughs> and if it's not, Bernie's Elixir would definitely help with that. <laughs> and I hope that Wyverns and Weirdos is helping improve your week too. And if it's not, uh, I'm sorry. Sorry for listening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry for listening. Um, it's mid-February uh, when this goes out. So. Mm. Oh, yeah. Happy Valentine's Day if that's your thing. If it's not your thing, yeah, that was, unhappy Valentine's that was Day. Let's... Uh, smash the patriarchy instead. Also, en- this past enjoy all Friday. the day. Enjoy all the cheap chocolate that yeah. is now um, cheap chocolate now day. there. Yeah, yeah. Friday. February fifteenth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but and if you're I, allergic to chocolate, I'm sorry. I am. Enjoy your treat. Okay. Yeah, I am a month out at this point from oh, Spamalot. Okay. Oh, okay. Go see Darby. Uh, yes. yes, in yes. Spamalot. Make it a Valentine's Day present, a late one for you and your <laughs> loved one. Yes, so if you're- All ones, if that is- Google the Aubrey Entertainment Center, yes? Yes, Yes. Aubrey Entertainment Center or Spamalot Aubrey. Um, You might see some familiar faces there also, or not if you're just an audio listener and it depends on us getting tickets too. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, go if you're in the region, go in and see it and enjoy it. And support Darby. Otherwise, he might. If he doesn't have a nice time, he might kill a lot of characters. Hear me sing ridiculously high notes. Yeah, and like yeah, and also see, and also on stage as well. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Um. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Then let's get right into this week's episode of Wyverns and Weirdos. And welcome back. So, where we last left off, uh, the party uh, spoke with Cigar um, and prepared uh, by gathering items to uh, fight a blue dragon. We did a shopping episode. We digged it's around been a while a since we've done <laughs> yeah. one of those. Yeah. I think about half the episode was spent talking over lunch. Well, it's Mr. Cigar, and he talks a lot, so... Yeah. He does. It's just a fact. He's also offended when you say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, people don't like being called out like that sometimes. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, and where, where we finished up, you returned to the, uh, to the Silk Sling to uh, recruit Bola and company awesome. for this mission. 
Mm-hmm. So, so, oh. so, what do you want to do? We are remember to turn to on the, the audio for live. Yeah. Music. Cue, the, cue tab and music. Does it have like a salon oh, style excellent. door? Like, can we just like walk in and push both doors <laughs> as hard as possible? <laughs> wow, wow. And then Newman spits in a bucket. <laughs> I mean, it could be. The aesthetic could be like that. Bernie thinks, <laughs> we see. <laughs> we look at the actual tavern. Also, I'm going to say that once he gets the chance, but he's going to go and talk to the um, the barkeep just about purchasing a room for himself. All right. Um, for himself? <laughs> we have a four-person room. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. the, uh, so that that will come down to... Uh, is, is it? Just let me confirm. Yeah, that is uh, two gold. Two gold. Yes. Okie dokie. He gives them the money. All right. And he goes out to rejoin the party and, like, he also thinks really hard back (laughs) trying to remember (laughs) who this woman was that has quite possibly (laughs) he's created a child with. Um, so I guess the first question is, and is when? Bowler and crew here? Yeah. Uh, this yeah. is what Bernie's thinking. So by the thinking. time oh, you God. get here, they're, they're here and they've started um, started their revelry for and the Tanner's night. Here, and yeah? Tanner's here with them. Mm. Cool. Vola, Tanner, associates. Uh, hello. Hello. Um, hello. Uh, pull up a chair. Um. Of course. <laughs> So, um, it is nice to see you again. Hello, Hafrin. I have missed you. Ah! <laughs> your, your, uh, your friend here was just telling us about an excellent opportunity uh, that she has uh, gotten. Oh, is that so, I'm, I'm So, I, I'm... <laughs> Going. Yes, we're all ears, Tanner. I, I I spoke to um Cigar and I'm I'm going to be apprenticing under him for a bit. Oh, excuse me, <laughs> excuse me. Ha- hang on. <laughs> and Bernie's like crawls over the table. <laughs> I was like, like literally, but like I'm not just that kind of shape. <laughs> yes, oh. literally, I suppose. Hey, excuse me. Hang on, hang on. See, so, he's sitting right next to her. Please tell. What is it, Tanip? How did this happen? When? Well, I, I asked him about potentially studying under him and... Really? He he was all too happy to take on an apprentice in alchemy. Oh, how nice for you. And I... when is that starting? Um, um, tomorrow. Tomorrow? Betty <laughs> <laughs> Light just stands up and leaves the t- <laughs> leaves the tavern. Um, can you <laughs> stop? You leave the tavern? Yeah. yeah. Do you? <laughs> yes, he does. But then he just kind of, he's here. <laughs> he comes back here and he's like, yep. Okay. Um, just as like he comes back in, Anya's like going to get up to go follow him. Uh, also, please, <laughs> yeah. for maximum effect, can you stop the music from playing as soon as he yells, tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> just make the music silent after that. I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> yeah, well, and then, then Bernie comes back in and goes immediately to the bar <laughs> and orders All the right. drink and then he's going to rejoin you guys in a moment. I think that um, this is a good opportunity for you, Tanap. I am... Uh, I would apologise for Bertie, but I feel like this is probably the expected reaction. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah uh, just about. I'm, uh, I'm pretty jealous, actually. Uh, that would have been pretty good under Cigar. Well, he's a pretty good bloke. We get along like two pieces <laughs> of the <laughs> pot. <laughs> like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm really happy for you, Tana. That's good. <laughs> he's definitely the best one around, the best mentor around, I'd say. <laughs> Yeah, he he seems it. Um, I I would have thought that the the better match for you, as far as a, as a teacher, would have been the that uh, the one with the 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 firearms. 
You, you seem more gadgety than yeah. you. Yeah, look, I... Maybe? I don't know. I'm really in between things at the moment. Okay, but how many party members are we losing tonight? <laughs> I would like to know, thank you. So I've got a big announcement, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm presuming only me. But he like flip flop, like comes back and just puts his like his little tank, big tank, and down. He's like, I'm really happy for you, Tanner. Great surprise. <laughs> Very good opportunity. Great surprise. Yeah, excellent. Very great. Congratulations. I think maybe after a time, I'll I'll be um a bit more skilled, a bit uh, more able to work out in the field again with you guys. Um, I know that uh, we would all appreciate that, Janet, but um, your safety comes first and your education comes first. <laughs> yeah, thank so I'm you. proud of you for of taking course, it. Of course, absolutely. I was just glaring at her the whole time <laughs> as he's drinking. <laughs> I love the absolute venom in, oh, he's, in he's, your gaze he's right so, now. He's so, yeah. <laughs> yes, it's a very unfriendly gaze. Mm. And he's, he's back sitting next to you guys now of, mm. on the other side of the table. <laughs> what do you reckon, Birdie? That's a pretty good thing. Uh, he puts his arm around you. Uh, <laughs> Anya's eyes, like, <laughs> well, you can't fucking see them, but her eye, eyebrows, like, shoot up. <laughs> and she's just like... <laughs> he puts his arm around you as well now. <laughs> so, like, um, and pulls great. you two close together. He goes, yeah. look at us. I'm so proud. So, uh, <laughs> Mami, uh, your friend was also telling us that you might you might have a need uh, of, of uh, our services. How would you like, my old friend, to slay a dragon together? <laughs> Now correct me if I am wrong, but I asked you this very question the other day, (laughs) did I not? You did, but it, um, at the time, we had matters that we needed to take care of first. It seems that uh, those matters align quite well with uh, something within the dragon's horde. All right, um, so, um... Let, let us say, for this split, uh, we split it uh, seven ways. For the three of your party and the four of ours, uh, you can have uh, the first pick to uh, locate this uh, item. Mm-hmm. Then, after that, uh, my allies uh, get the first pick before you guys uh, choose anything further. Does that sound fair to you guys? Yeah. Yeah, I don't have any problem with that. Yeah. Or only after something specific or... I mean, you're very hard hitting at, like, killing dragons and stuff, aren't you? Yeah? Exactly. Um, it is it is our specialty as a group. Fantastic. Um, you guys must feel very proud for being such accomplished dragon slayers. Of course. Excellent. Yes, Vole is uh, very strong. Yeah, well, actually, yeah, I haven't been acquainted with you guys, so this is a friend. <laughs> this is a friend of yours. Right. This is Bertie. Yeah. Hi. Uh, bonjour. Different bonjour. From, from the ones before. That yeah. Was with us, we traded in for this slightly different one. Uh, okay. Well, well, me, How many people deception. do you hang out with? I'm going to give Vola advantage on her insight oh for knowing God. you. Oh my God. I hate um, you, Anya. But it's not going to be disadvantage on your deception. 15. 15. Um, what is her insight? Her insight isn't too great, though, and but I didn't roll panels overly flash. Now. So, yeah, you, and he's you beat like, her. He keeps looking at Newman like, are you going to stop holding, holding us? Like, <laughs> he's looking for like, yeah, right. We're stooping. To like himself. Pleasure to meet you, uh, Betty. Um, yeah, these, these nice are my, to meet you too. These are my uh, allies, uh, Olaf, um, uh, uh, Bianca, and... Uh, Pleasure to meet you all. And Tolik. 
Fantastic! I mean, well, quite a uh, an accomplished looking uh, group of people you have here. Uh, of course. It is good to see you again, Paula. Uh, good to see you again, too. Uh, so, uh, keen to fight a dragon, eh? Mm hmm. Yeah! I certainly am. Uh, me especially. I've sort of got the taste for it now. It's pretty good. Yeah, they're, they're feeling very confident. So, um... Bola, you and I go way back, but... Oh, we, we, we. But your party, how did you guys come together? Oh, uh, well, they're, they're also uh, from... Uh, they are from the war. I don't know. Are they? Are they? You've been to Navarra? <laughs> Have I been to Navarra, Toffee? Uh, I assume so. I think the Bianca one... isn't. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Bianca yeah. was like a new member, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, she was, yeah. I believe. Um, so, uh, Bianca, we ran into uh, doing a job uh, down, down south uh, in the... Celestial Fields. Oh, the Celestial Fields! Uh, oui. Uh, are you familiar with them? Oh, well, I mean, I'm an Eldrin, so, yeah. <laughs> it's near the Feywild, so, yeah. I mean, it's kind of like... Yeah, I'll... Yeah. And, uh, That's all! <laughs> and uh, Tolok and Orloth are old friends from, uh, from Navora. Uh, oh, Navora oh. as well, are you? That's where you're yes. from, Anya. Yes. Yes. Wow. It's certainly. I think it's also where Bonnet is from. Yeah, I, I, I could tell that from the <laughs> accent. You know, I don't want to make assumptions, but, you know. <laughs> cool, cool, that's great. So old adventuring buddies or something? Or something else? <laughs> <laughs> oh, when um when Bertie says that she kind of freezes a little bit and she's like Yes, old adventuring buddies. Okay, say no more. Wink. So, um <laughs> shall we go at first light then? Yes. I believe that would be probably the smartest thing. Uh how do you guys get around? We've got our own uh cart and Mmm. Donkey. We, we well, have... I've got a car and a mule. Thank you. <laughs> we we have we have a cart as well. Um... Oh, cool! What model? <laughs> <laughs> Just this standard cart. Oh, um, and standard how model. big is it on the inside? Yeah, what what's color? the interior like? Is it uh, deceptively it, large? You sh- no. Oh, not. you've got to see. You've we got to see have ours. something <laughs> fun to show you. Oh all. well, I mean, I mean, maybe. <laughs> There will be a, a, a visitor's a fee. Friend. There'll be a visitor's fee, though, so... I will say... <laughs> I wouldn't recommend simply it. Simply because your characters would remember to bring it up, but we forgot to discuss it during that, that lunch meeting with Cigar. Mm-hmm. He would have... Cla- like, you would have oh, asked, yeah. and he would have clarified, yeah, no, that is definitely all of your car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, no. Oh, we, oh no, already, no, 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 no. We've already decided this. Me, me, me and Dan. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, Tan- who's no longer a member of the team, so oh, oh no, my god, no, you're outvoted! Dibs. You already have a bitch. It's my car! You're not down down dipping it up! <laughs> <laughs> so. It'll become the yeah. master best. We're having this conversation in front yeah, yeah, of yeah, we have a great, I have a great card, so yeah. Olaf is uh, working on uh, some arcane forms of uh, long distance transport, but he's Ooh. still a little bit uh, off of uh, mastery of that method. How exciting! I also like testing on apples, but not on people. Uh, not so much. More, more so, uh, he's, it, it, is, it is a tried and trusted method. Uh, he's, he's studying it, but he has not yet uh, managed to uh, to get get it uh, quite right to be able to uh, activate the enchantment yet. I'm sure wow. you will get there. Of course. Um... Yeah, d- yes. just keep trying. Confidence is the key in all magic. After all. Also, practice and study. Well, yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> <laughs> For some forms of magic, yes. 
Yeah. For, for the arcane, it is uh, the most reliable form, I find. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. A bit like yeah, someone like me. There are other methods, but yeah. Oh, I do not deny it. Uh, sorcery can have its uses, but it is uh, not as versatile. You're yes, a wizard, I'm sorry. Sorcery is what I meant. Uh, Bianca, you're an Eladrin, yes. Um, uh, uh, half, yeah. 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 Don't you have questions about that? Our friend Bertie is an Eladrin. Oh, very um, like a glare immensely at you. This, um, by the way, is very intentional subject changing from the whole <laughs> yeah, magic yeah, thing. Absolutely. On Anya's part. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, um, I'm a bit rude. Come on. Not all Eladrins like, know everything about being an Eladrin. Have, but, have yeah. you ever met any other Eladrin that um oh well t- like have have um more of a, a shadow bent to them what do you mean by that that's kind of, kind of weird I mean most Eladrin I, I don't know I mean you don't seem to be presenting a particular kind of season um, I, I gaze over no it's, it's from, from what I've heard it doesn't tend to be so much obvious as yeah as, as um with with uh full eladrin as it is with half that's it uh, and precisely eladrin. you look like a very young lass like how old would you say you would be i did have the exact age somewhere um <laughs> i'm sure i had it somewhere uh Or did I just have teenage? Um, um, I'm 17. 17? Wow! That is quite old. 17 and you've already slain a dragon? Yeah, doing a great job. That must have been pretty scary for a 17 year old. Uh, A (laughs) Your your parents must be worried sick. I don't (laughs) even remember being 17. Yeah, me neither. It was that time. <laughs> uh, anyway. But you're, you're full elves. That must have been, what, a century oh, a ago? Oh, a very long time ago, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, like, like uh, El- Eladrin like us, like, you know, uh, we tend to align ourselves with certain seasons or whatever, but like, um, haven't really heard about that kind of stuff, right, though. Right. Kind of weird. <laughs> Why do you ask? Oh, just, uh, just, I, uh, my, my sorcery is, um, mostly, uh, shadow-based in nature. Really? I, yeah. Um, I do have a okay. little bit of, um, like, I, I can do a bit of fire. Oh, that's great! But, um, <laughs> Fire's fun. And it dawns on you, 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 you were in a summer form when you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Were with uh, Bianca's mother. Very fun. Yep. Okay. Um, <laughs> the very just like freezes for her. As you can see, ten stages go through his well, through his mind. He's like, yep. Oh, okay. But, um, cool. Um, Newman, who still has his arms around both of you, by the way, <laughs> can feel. Tenseness. <laughs> yeah. so, you okay? I've had a bad week, I would say. <laughs> it's really fine, you'll be it over out. soon. <laughs> Do you want another drink? Well, I wouldn't say no to that if you're shouting. Uh, Newman goes get uh, another drink, but he also asks everyone at the table if they want more drinks as well. No one says no. <laughs> Alrighty. Goodbye to your oh. money. <laughs> so, yeah, you're getting a drink for everyone. Um... So that is that comes to so that's four. Oh jeez, I can see Jack the regret like stealing in your himself. No, I knew so much regret, money, but it I'm shouldn't be that much. <laughs> hoping I can so afford it. Uh, <laughs> well, maybe, maybe uh, like they'd uh, probably be like, okay, that'll be this much. We'll, we'll, like, we'll, we'll, ra- we'll round it down to three silver. <laughs> uh, could I maybe do some work in the kitchen to work? <laughs> that? Oh my god! Do you, do you seriously <laughs> not afford no, three? No, I'm joking. Can. I'm just being shit. <laughs> You're being a bird. <laughs> yeah, Newman doesn't come back, guys. Oh my god. Oh my Chris god. 
Uh, Bianca. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, Bianca. <laughs> That's going to be a weird dynamic. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, no, he comes back with the drinks. Okay, there's the uh, second Newman hands me the drink, he downs it entirely. <laughs> And continues to talk. Um, Ol- Olaf begins speaking to you. So, what uh, what do you three do? What what uh, do you bring to a combat scenario? Um, Newman doesn't even let him finish. Oh no! <laughs> no! no! Oh no! <laughs> Oh, well, I'm a bit of an artificer, actually. I like to do a lot of tinkering as well. So I built these, like, mechanical things, and I fuse them with the magic as well. I've got lots of, like, magical things at my disposal, <laughs> magical weapons, magical bows, magical arrows, that sort of stuff. Um, but, yeah, no, it's just really cool. Check out this drone, though, and he, bring, he um, brings out his tinkering drone. It's like, this one here I can use out in the field to do, like, so many more things. And I can also magically create a drone as well. Um, and I can get that to do even more things. It is absolutely crazy. Um, I consider myself as a tabaxi to be quite nimble and fast. If you don't stop him, he will go on forever. Uh, are you a frontliner? Uh, yeah, definitely more of a frontliner. Front yeah, definitely. Frontliner with a bit of a distraction bent, I gather. Yes, yes. All right. You seem to have a rather impressive bow there. <laughs> oh, well. Yes, I, would... I am um, a scout and an archer and a ranger and... Uh, specialize in not being at the front lines, but I do have a few tricks up my sleeve. All right. And caster, I believe. Yep, that's me. I can heal people a little bit. Healer, any offensive magic? I got a little bit. I'm mostly like a merchant, or like, you know, so that's my forte, right. but like, yeah, I can How do many that. fucking job interviews we get yeah. so far? <laughs> so, season two, the season of job but interviews. But I would if prefer any, not to be killed if possible. If any of you prepare your spells, um. Sorry, I'm just bleeding. If any of you prepare <laughs> your spells, I would recommend against lightning. Uh, okay. Yeah, we actually know a fair bit about that. We've we've done our research as well. Yes, we. Uh, Newman has a potion of lightning resistance. As well, so that might help me out a little healing. bit. That will come in handy as a frontliner. I take it you know not to keep in a straight line if you've done your research. Oh, yes, naughty feet, I believe. That our will not be a problem, honey. A friend and the friend had much knowledge, so yes. <laughs> that is good. Uh, do any of you use rapiers by any chance? Um, I do not believe any of us have ever had real use for a rapier. Fair enough. We um, just we just met a shopkeep who uh, had a particular weapon that's good against dragons, but um, I, it's a little bit out of our frost I, range. I, I, I yeah, utilize. go and visit. Braxton, if you want to do that I utilize a long sword, um, specially designed for slaying dragons, as well as a crossbow when I am... If if I am unable to use my magic, or my magic is uh, of little use, uh, so if I were to be in combat with, say, a uh, red dragon, because a lot of my magic is... Uh, fire-based, I would use my crossbow over, say, a firebolt. Uh, you really thought this through? Yeah, he's got a lot of strategy. So, as, I, as it's as like, like you've done this I'm before. I'm just, like, pouring more wine yeah. and just tipping away at yeah. a wine. Tolok doesn't have much in the way of uh, weaponry, like magical weaponry, but he does know uh, where to look and where to aim to get a good shot off on a dragon. It's not, unfortunately, not something he can really teach. Um, that is more fine. Of, I usually yeah. have pretty good aiming. Of course. And I see you, you have procured some braces of archery. That will yes. help as well. Um, the dragons are tricky to hit at the best of time, especially when they're older. Um, Vola, of course, has her flame tongue. Uh, great sword. And... Then Bianca uh, does not much in the way of uh, wow. phys- physical, okay. uh, <laughs> much, much like Tollock does not utilize uh, magical weaponry. Um, she, she's still rather new and has yet to save up or choose. But she's also um, a specialist in uh, more... Uh, 
unarmed combat and uh, she's able to channel uh, energy into her strikes to overcome any sort of magical wow, resistance. Wow, that's very impressive. Um, so... You guys all seem really competent. <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah, you seem to know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but that will only get one so far um, well. when fighting uh, a fully grown dragon. Um, you need numbers to uh, guarantee the win. How are you uh, with political espionage? <laughs> I feel like we probably have a job for you that is better suited for your party than ours. <laughs> Other than possibly Tolok, I can't say uh, many of us would be particularly useful at it. Well, I think you'd probably be more useful than you think. <laughs> but um, we will fight the dragon we are first. We are more monster slayers than we are... Um, traditional adventurers, I guess. Or... Uh, I know a few monstrous he- or po- heroes. politicians. <laughs> so maybe. <laughs> heroes! <laughs> I don't... I don't yeah! Uh, Anya laughs delightedly at that. Well... But then, um... Betty calls a white person over for another drink. <laughs> Alright. All right. So... Shall shall we move ahead to the next day? Yeah. All right. Yeah. How far away? Do I get to actually sleep this time, Darby? Yes. You in do. my own little room. Oh, thank God. How beautiful. So, um, yeah. So. By you- the way, Hafrin sleeps in with you. Oh my God. <laughs> Betty is like, no, get out, Shoo! What are you doing here? Get out of my room. Hafrin just stays up in the rock. Get out, Shoo! He like can't reach. <laughs> he doesn't really want to fight. I think and and you just, just calls like. It's compromised, Bertie. I'm in the room next I to you. I think eventually you work out, like, just have him perched on, like, the windowsill outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Bertie's so, not happy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, it's an uneventful evening. And you make your way the next morning uh, to the dragon's lair. God damn it. Anya didn't get a nighttime murder scene, which means that the dragon is going to be her murder scene. No. <laughs> God fucking damn Well. It. So, I mean, what are, we, what are we doing? Are we, like, already halfway there? Or, like, what? what, what, what? So. Do um, we just, like, how did, how did this happen? Do we, like, meet up with the carts or, like? Yeah, so you meet up with the carts um, in the morning and you travel, basically, uh, side by side or um, one in front of the other, depending on... What what the road allows for? Okay. Were they impressed by our car? Actually, hang on. We yes. need to we need to actually address something role play wise. Tanip is not with us now. No, she is not. So uh, yes, hang on, she, hang they on. would be a farewell, wouldn't they? Yes. yes. Bye bye. So, so, Record <laughs> so, uh, that, yeah. please. So in the morning before you go, uh, Tanip uh, goes up to you all and says. Um, Thank you for all your all, all your help um, uh, along the way. Um, I, I I hope I get to see you guys again soon. Um, be safe. We'll try not to die, just for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we will do that for you, Tanner. I really hope you make the most of your opportunity, and um, and I have a gift for you. Oh, no. <laughs> Um, yeah, like, the short amount of time that you've been here helping with my racket, uh, I mean, uh, helping with business, I really appreciate that. Really would have preferred a little bit more notice before you upend, like, my entire current career, but it's fine. So, and I was thinking, like... You didn't mind all the combat stuff, like all the nearly dying constantly. So, like, I thought, what kind of gift can I give Tanip as she, you know, after what she's just done? And I thought I would give you um, this. And he, like, presents her the, um, he has a dagger, I think. Oh, my God. 
fucking god. <laughs> okay, but he's cast distort value on the dagger, so it like, looks like a really nice dagger. Okay. <laughs> um, is there some sort of like investigation check? That- it's an intelligence check. Yes. <laughs> What did you um, roll? That's a natural 19. Oh, she did. <laughs> she beat it. Yeah. She's also she like a naturally t- intelligent <laughs> character. Oh, no. Being an artificer. She definitely doesn't even fit into, fit into this. So is it just flat intelligence or intelligence save? It was an intelligence. It's just an intelligence check. So 15. Okay. Oh, 15. So she beat yeah, it. 22. It's a really nice dagger. It has a lot of sentimental value, but I think you would do best with it, especially (laughs) considering. Thanks. Uh, (laughs) um, Also, I I made these up for you all last night, and she hands each of you a potion of healing. Aw, thanks, Tanner. You you can probably use all the help you can get if you're going to fight a dragon, eh? Uh, yeah, I can guarantee you Most I'll be definitely. chugging this down almost immediately. You've <laughs> uh, seen how okay. it is. Okay. I have something that... Um, a little bit of insurance, I guess. Or assurance to you that um, we will make our way back to you. Um, Anya kind of reaches up behind her and pulls out her stuff of um, flowers and she's like, I'd like you to look after this for me for a while. <laughs> oh, is that stuff okay? of flowers. I, 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 will, I will look after it as best I can. Good. I can only see good things in your future, Tanner. Don't end up like us. <laughs> <laughs> It's Don't true. do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> I feel like we do. A, yeah, I yeah. feel like we already do a lot of things <laughs> yeah. that you yeah, wouldn't yeah. necessarily that's, do. That's a lot of onus to put on us. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't think I can keep that committed. Uh, sh- <laughs> mm. <laughs> Great. Well, it's been nice knowing you, Tanner. Have fun. <laughs> Be, right. Have fun study under cigar or whatever. Bye. Yeah, this, is a, this is a goodbye. This is see you later. Alligator. <laughs> You're not an alligator, it's just a saying, though. No. I, I know. Okay. Alright, so, okay, now, show me what. So, Bernie, like, stomps all the way to the, like, the horse and cart. He will not talk to you guys. And he is going to be driving the cart because he actually has animal, animal handling proficiency. He should have animal handling proficiency. You also right? have, like, um, yes. land vehicle proficiency. Yeah, though, yeah, you? that's it. So, you, yeah, vehicle Monty, proficiency. Monty, Mule, and Montgomery, the mule, the third, the fourth, the fifth, whatever I named him, like an idiot. Um... <laughs> is also like highly intelligent and probably just a wizard maybe even a crack wizard that has been um transformed no. after being on a plane for some damn it no no he, tried. he's long gone <laughs> but he used polymorph all the time it would have been perfect Dobby. he's not a previous character he's Bertie's mule polymorph doesn't last that long it does if you're a crazy crack wizard that got stuck in another dimension and could also be a god. You don't know, except oh, yeah. that you do, because you're the DM. Previous d and It's stuff. my head cannon. Um, yes. So, Bernie is driving the car. He's also put some new flowers on Mules. He mules his hair, I suppose. All right. Cool. Um, and he's grumpy. <laughs> I love one god. <laughs> Newman tests out all of his new knickknacks. Excellent. Anya probably spends time catching up with Bola. They probably like yeah, she like together or something. I'll guess he'll socialize every now and then. All right. Yeah. So probably like the friendliest you guys have seen Anya. Yeah. You, you guys are probably. all competent adventurers at this point. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Com- like <laughs> possible. Yeah. Imaginary I conversation that. with the other party. How many jobs have you botched? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So we nearly got killed by a rug, and then we nearly got killed by. Uh, to be fair, that was your first outing that you nearly got killed by a rug. Yeah, that's not good. A rug, though. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> it was also an animated object. Uh, a dragon and a suit of armor. A suit of armor, yeah. A dragon. And- <laughs> 
Lots of Let's ha- hope lots history of doesn't repeat. Bugs. Yes. Oh, yes, the bugs. They were good ones. They nearly mm. killed us all. A gelatinous Sorry. cube, some like oh, slime yeah. boys. The gelatinous cube was not a good time for me. <laughs> I nearly died several times. Okay. There were really weird worms. So. Yeah, real fun. Uh, a second day. Second day. <laughs> okay. You travel for a bit before um, <laughs> starting <laughs> to, to reach a region that there are um, unnatural seeming uh, thunderstorms. Um, or, uh, not all, of Tarlock would. Tarlock says, ah, we're getting close. The indicative, uh, uh, has changed them. He turns his um, broom box off. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, indicative uh, regional effects of a blue dragon. Um, Okay. We can't be more than uh, six miles out. Oh, it's just that's not far at all. An hour or two of travel. Wow, it's almost like it took like a couple of minutes, really. <laughs> Passage of time is real fast around these parts. It's like I'm in the Feywilds. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, and you, you spend a bit more time traveling, and I might get... So one of you are rolling it. I'll get Anya to roll a survival check to... The lo- uh, with advantage for the assistance of um, Tolik. Oh, well, um, that's a 23. 23. Okay, yeah, so it doesn't take you long to find um, this kind of central... Almost, like, you can tell that it's not natural, this kind of deserty area where it shouldn't be desert in this kind of climate. Newman, drink your potion. Do you um, reckon right now, or should we go and find the dragon now, first? Um, for now. Wait, wait. I don't think we're going to get the chance to chat <laughs> narratively, so you so might as well. <laughs> how, how close do you reckon we are, he asked everyone. <laughs> Pretty close. This is not a natural desert. Alrighty. Uh, fine. I drink the, the potion. I mean, you bought it for me. I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm not going to um, just ignore that. So, and I will move around to bring out the map. Ah, it's, it's been a while since we've had one map. of these guys. It's the map. It's the map. This is probably gonna be a pause. Darby, please cut this. Yeah. This is probably gonna be a pause. Darby, please cut this. Yeah. This is probably gonna be a pause. Darby, please cut this. Yeah. Or just keep in my bad singing, and then that will be worse, and we will fail on all available podcast uh, platforms. Yeah. Oh my god. Dragon's Also, flashback to um, Zombie Dragon. Flashback to reality. Which was in a desert as well. Which was a blue dragon by origin. Huh. Laura wasn't cool. here for that. But bring up shit Laura wasn't here for. <laughs> yeah, but I also flashback. Like, that, I'm allowed so. to be like, just hey, so, flashback. Laura, Eddie, this is where um, kind of occasional jobs for you guys comes in in making sure that uh, stuff is... Right. Well, I've uh, already moved that camera once yeah. by accident, so. So. Yeah. Miniatures. Um, so you guys would be approaching from that end. I'm going to grab would not be approaching in. Do we have no. um, minis for the carts, or would we have left that at the um, entrance of the desert? You would have probably left those um, on the outskirts <laughs> of like the the lightning. Um, knowing that that's only about six miles out. Now, I'm not sure if the mics picked that up, but he just said that uh, we would have left it on the outskirts of the lightning and made our way by foot. So, yeah. for when it happens, can we all roll initiative? So, for the dragon. Yeah, that checks out. Ugh. That's fine. <laughs> and, like, it went good number, bad number. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Should I give that to you? Uh, what is it? <laughs> ah, yes. 
these these are not so far going well. Okay, that's better. Um, as long as it's the dragon that's not going well. <laughs> and not the owl. Ooh. Ooh. Uh? Dragon rolled a nat 20. Uh, no. So we'll roll that one. Fun. Someone's um, gonna die instantly. Yeah. So, um. Oh yeah, there's there's a rule for that. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh oh. I don't. Think, I don't think okay. it's gonna apply to him though. To what he tends to do first. Okay. So twenty-five to twenty. <laughs> Good um, one. So that would be funny joke. Uh, Tolok. Okay. I never claimed I could roll. Uh, ten to fifteen. Oh, fifteen to twenty. Sorry. Nope. Funny joke. We're amusing. Uh, 10 to 15? 14. Uh, 10. <laughs> and Bertie? Six. Six. All right. So. Oh, it's sad now, because it's not like, oh, don't forget to roll Tanit. Oh, no. Oh. Tanit's abandoned us. <laughs> uh... Oh, like oh, how birdie. you know now he's gonna have to make his own shoddy potions. Like <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have a little minion. Tanit made three potions of lesser healing in a night. <laughs> yeah, but like shoddy potions though. Now he's gonna have to sit there and cast like <laughs> press digitation yeah. on. All right, so. bath water. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should just market that instead. Actually. <laughs> okay, so Tolik yeah. is gonna. St- Start, um, so yeah, um, yeah, so you wait, you wait out essentially for the dragon to show up and let's, let's see, let's, uh, uh, let's just, whoops, uh, can you adjust your battle cam so that it shows, uh, the mouth of the cave there? Is that, I can't, that. there? Yes. Let's, let's just. As it should see okay, the dragon. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and up. It might. Okay. It might. Yeah. Bit. Bit showing the studio kind of thing. But you can make the feet taller. Can I? What? Yeah. That the old oh, feet are wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is. We're um, we're learning because this is the first combat we've had with this new setup. This is. Why All right. have I been given it? Is that good enough? Uh, close um, enough. Close enough. Cool. All right. So, uh, as soon as the dragon comes out, Tolok is going to try to get within... Hey, buddy. He's try to get within 60 feet of it. So, 12 squares. On um, the goblin. Oh, uh, yes. Oh. Um... <laughs> So he's nowhere, <laughs> nowhere near that close. Okay. Um, well, swear, probably then. about the middle of that dune. Where? Um, I, I can't see. Is that, the problem? That there. dune. Okay. Yeah. And he's going. I believe that's within sixty feet. And he is going to start by casting uh, Hunter's Mark and start throwing or lobbing arrows, um, which. A, a which I th- <laughs> which I think he gets two. So, um, oh, uh, the first one's not going to hit, but the second one is a natural twenty. Wow! Uh, Excellent. That's what you want? So one d eight plus uh, five. Oh, so eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14. Uh, plus, I believe it's a D. What is it? 20. Uh, so that is 30 points of damage to the dragon. Excellent. I, uh, I hope. They're half to 15, unfortunately, because it's oh. not magical. Um, oh, okay. Thank God I have a magical longbow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> next is Newman. Oh, wow. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. All right, so I guess I'm just going to get as close as possible. <clears throat> I'm just trying to find my feline agility 
how much more that gives me. But I'm going to expend that as well. It gives you an extra 30 feet. Yeah, I believe. So I can move... 60, I believe. Yeah, 60. Go out, trying not to block line of sight. Um, and I'm assuming that's well within my bow's range. Uh, short, short bow, bow is what? 80. 80. As a minimum, I'm with yep. in, well within 60, yeah. I believe. So I'm going to take a shot at him with that. All right. I don't believe any of my spells are good. Alright, he does a... 22 hits. Uh, it does. Nice. Alrighty. Too much damage, but that's alright. So, that is just simply... Um... 9 damage piercing. Uh, okay. Non-magical. Yeah. And... Is there anything really, like, to hide Non-magical, with? you said? Non-magical, yeah. I, I so. believe it's just a mundane short bow. Yeah. Um, is there anything to sort of hide with? Uh, no. Only the dunes, really. Can I utilise my cloak of many fashions to change it to sort of like a camouflage to attempt to hide it's, with that? Isn't it an action to change it? Let's have a look. Use a bonus action to change okay, the bonus. style. So can I change the style and then attempt to hide with it later? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. It might be a Attempt disadvantage on... Attempted desert camouflage. Depend yeah. Desert camo. <laughs> here we go. Might not be oh, particularly yes. effective. It will be a use yeah. for a bonus action if I don't have any yes. other use for it. All right. Uh, Anya. So, Anya, first with her bonus action, um, she says words in a language that she doesn't understand, that you guys don't understand and that you guys haven't heard her say before, mm -hmm. and she hexes the dragon. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, excellent. Um, so the ability check that the dragon gets disadvantage on, I'm going to make it intelligence. All right. Um, and that basically means that if she hits with an attack, it's an extra 1d6 necrotic damage. Yes. So then... Um, she is going to try to hit it. All right. The oh, hmm. yeah. Look, she'll just try and hit it with the longbow of warning, um, and she can fish for the sneak attack dice later. Oh me! Oh, 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 boy. Oi, oi, boy. Why did you get? By that, I don't think it will hit. That would be a 13. 13? No. No, I didn't think so. Um, already used her bonus action, so she'll just fill out. All right. Um, next is Bianca. Oh, actually, quickly beforehand, um, we don't have a half run mini. No, there is one somewhere. Uh, just use Tanit for now. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's happening? Did you accidentally leave um, Hafren with Cigar and take Tanit instead? <laughs> um, so he's got a 50 foot fly speed. I'm yep. just going to move him. Is it, are these spaces 10 feet or 5? 5. 5? Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20. 20. Like 40, 45, 50. Oh, there you go. Have a have a Hafrin human. All right. Thanks. Um, Except Hafrin looks like. <laughs> All right. So uh, Bianca is gonna. Can Bianca get? I don't think Bianca can get into even with a bonus action dash. She's more than sixty feet away. Is she, isn't she? Sixty. It's yeah. Sort of around that here. So she's gonna dash forward sixty feet. Um, oh, no. Actually, what Thank is her you. speed? You no, she's going to dash forward 90 feet me. because she has enhanced monk speed. But. Yep.
Yeah. Right there, or like... Yeah. And then she's going to... Um, then she is going to use a magic missile. An actual magic missile. Oh, wow. I love that. Um, That's great. At, at first level, um, which is just... So, three darts. Uh... Yeah, I don't know which is which. Calm down. So that is nine points of damage to the dragon. Yay! Oh, well, that's pretty good. Good girl. Yeah. Um, all right. Um, that is one of two spell slots of hers used. This one does not. Okay. Um, next is the dragon's go. The dragon. Oh, great. <laughs> is going to line up. Um. Y'all are in a bit of a line there, aren't you? I'm gonna move to the side a bit and line uh, up now. Bye uh, bye. From how? <laughs> what is the distance in a straight line between um between um B- Bianca and Olaf? Olaf being the hobgoblin, red armor. Oh. Red armor. Oh, sorry. Oh. Yeah. Roughly about 95. 95. Oh, like, that was... Well, that makes sense, because, like, she, she did 90 And kind of cutting it up. The, the, so he's going to go there. And I, th- I think that would probably go through uh, Bianca, um, Newman, and Orloff. So I'm going to need those three to make uh, dexterity saving throws. Is this something that um, Uncanny Dodge can apply to? Uh, or whatever. Where I is, it un- is it... Uh, which one? It's which the one, one I just it? got. I-, I think you did get Uncanny Dodge. Sounds right. You mean evasion? Evasion. Oh, yeah. Yes. So is it evasion or Uncanny Dodge that you've got? Because they're two s- different things. I'm trying to find it on here. It's- ah, there you go. Once he hits you with an attack, he can use your reaction to halve the attack's damage against you. Yeah, it's, I'll just... It's... it's Yeah, it's a two-hit ability, so no. If it hits me with an attack, Do you though? Have or? Oh, if it hits you with an attack... That I can see. So... Then I can choose I'll, I'll using my reaction. It, I'll allow it to be like a yeah. half. Uh, yeah. uh, and then with No, because it's, it's an attack... Yeah, Do no, you so have it's... Evasion, no, because that's a seventh level no. rogue thing. So no, it it wouldn't be a thing. So just roll. Ah. Rip. It was caught rolling like that. Okay. Um. Did what? You know? Like you're rolling over. What is there, the DC? It's bouncing back up and giving you. So what? What did you Her get? Dice rolling. <laughs> yeah, wait, that's Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. So. Um. 15 that is not enough you still take you still only take half because you have your lightning resistance um why has music stopped that is not oh i'll see my back to full health by now there is a bunch of silence at the end of that track for some reason i will have to check that later um so uh uh, 30 46 uh, 55 60 69 points of lightning damage hey. half, <laughs> half to 34 Ah, oh, we might die. <laughs> yeah, well, this was fun. I don't make the right choice. So, uh... Olaf is low right out the back. Oh, great. <laughs> um, but, um... 
as is Bianca. Uh, oh, actually, uh, does Bianca, I think, she, she, monk, so she she's a some. monk, does she have, she takes no damage because she has evasion. Oh, yeah. excellent. Well, there we go. She's got evasion. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Um, and that is the dragon's go. Um, Vola is is one of my NPCs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I had a mild like moment there where I was like, uh, wait, am I uh, Vola? No. So, <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. so Vola is going to activate her flame tongue great sword and move um, 60 feet towards the dragon. Thank you. I uh, can't reach the mini. Off. He um, does that. Okay, Olaf is she going to try to get, so he's going to move 30 feet uh, towards the dragon. Um, and he's going to cast Yep, he's gonna cast. He's gonna cast a fireball right behind the bastard. Excellent. Um, uh, Rip everything in up. the cave. Yeah. yeah. No, up the gold! It don't melt! It don't melt! It don't melt. <laughs> it's, it's like up. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Um, oh up my gosh. to his yeah. highest level. Oh, thanks, Ethis. So that's an extra dice of damage on the fireball. Uh, it is, in fact, a sphere and not a thunder. Um, yes, that's right. I'm getting in the ammo of saying things incorrectly. <laughs> Silander. So, Silander. the dragon does oh, yes. get a <laughs> save wait. against it. It does succeed. Um, but that is still 20 points of fire damage that it takes. Hell yeah. Um, all right. Next is uh, Tolok is again going to, I believe, is two arrows. But it does. But it does. Um, yes. Uh, both both thirteens. Um, so that's twenty three. That hits. Uh, Good. <laughs> six. Uh, so it's two d six plus. Um, yeah, two d six plus five. Uh, so that is uh, ten points. Just of. Actually, no. He's designating slayers prey. Actually, no, I'll, I'll look at how that looks when I get a moment. He's just doing the 10 damage for now. Okay. All right. Um, next is Newman. All righty. I'm going to move first. Hmm. Has Bernie had a go? No, I haven't. Oh, I'll yeah. Be. <laughs> Sorry, I must have skipped you between Bianca and the dragon. So. Yeah. Oh, I did roll a six. Go, go now. Okay, he's gonna try and cast a spell. Let's see if it hits. Oh, what spell? It's Guiding Bolt. It's not right. gonna hit. It's a um, 19 to hit. That just hits. Excellent. So I yeah. am, um, and I'm doing that with a packed slot, yes? Uh, yeah. Yep. Cool. Could I borrow some D6s, please? I need to. Um, so I have two, and I need. Hmm, hang on. Four plus one D6 for every casting level above three. One, I'm casting at third level, so seven D6. So, thank you. Uh, I have one the fact that we well. misplaced your turn doesn't even impact um, things because Vola and Olaf have. Uh, Tolik Six, probably seven. technically right. should have done an effect. We'll just say narratively that you held until just before okay. um, Newman That's went fine. to went to attack it because Newman's going to be able to bonus action dash to engage with it and get an attack in which you would have advantage on because of okay. the dying bolt yeah you got you guys have worked together enough to have that kind of synergy yeah um I'm just hoping you guys a lot yeah from I'm just us, hoping I stay thank alive you Darby next as turn. the DM <laughs> for giving us that free pass <laughs> um okay so 25 damage altogether 25 damage. Yeah, of Guardian nice. Bolt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, 25 radiant damage. Next, a flash of light streaks towards the dragon and... Oh. Yeah. And now, um, the next attack roll made against this target before has advantage. It has advantage. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. There we go. That's what I do. David Bay doesn't say anything. He's trying to concentrate very hard. All right. My turn. Uh, yes. All righty. So I will do exactly what you said. Now, did you say I could get into a flanking position, though? Uh, Is that what you said? Or just get into you could, melee? You could get into melee. Yeah, you can't get into a flanking position. Yeah. But you've got advantage because of the guiding bolt anyway. Bonus. Yeah, with a bonus action dash. And so you only get one attack in, but... It's going to be an advantage. I'm going to use yeah. Titania's needle, Because it does more damage. However, Vicious Rapier might be able to do extra damage. No, Titania's. Yeah, definitely Titania's. <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh, it's not, it's not a critical, but I reckon that definitely hits. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> what Excuse we me, want. 26. 26, that hits. Wow, All oh, right. nice. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So roll, including sneak attack. Yes. What in? All of my All right, sorry. So. <laughs> yeah. We got that. Two D6 are there. We got. Very oh, hang on. Oh my god. One, two, one. Plus that. Plus that. Plus that. My dice are getting past. <laughs> Your dice board is coming handy. <laughs> Alrighty, oh, there's at least one bad. six. <laughs> however, the rest are all quite bad. Oh, um, well. So what have we got? Doing the club, got six, buddy. Twelve. Oh, I better decide which is which as well. I guess so. Six. Six. Twelve. So. Fourteen. No, no, no. Hang on, hang on. No, no. I'm gonna. It's not gonna matter for. Because there's no lightning in No, there's no so lightning. It's, not it's got, d- got no weaknesses or anything like that no. that we're aware of? Okay. 19 plus whatever you add to it. Um, 19 plus 1. It's no, got to be more than plus 1. one. Yes. Ah, uh, because it's usually in your offhand. So oh, right. add yes, your decks yes, on top yes. of that. So that'll be a plus. So plus 1, plus 5, so five. 25. 25? Oh, yeah, no, plus 5, yeah. So, yep. yeah. Cool. All right. Very mediocre this, rolls. This dragon's looking shaky, though. Huh, really? What? Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, that's good, good job, Neiman. Um, funny joke. Yeah, just the numbers on, are on your side, guys. Um, yeah. Uh, next is Anya. You have allies within, uh, yeah, within yeah, I do. of it, so um, you will get sneak attack damage. My good, good boy is going to try and get closer anyway. Wait. Is he? No. That's... He's just going to try and shoot him. An attempt to hit. That's the problem. The problem mm. is hitting. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> what was it? The exact same as last time, which I know yeah. doesn't hit. That dice is retired now. Um, Add one extra damage to whatever Newman did as well. It was it's a plus one right beer as well. So that's wow. what the initial that's what, plus that's one what, was. Yeah, that's what the initial plus one was, and we only added five. So no, no, we, we added, added one, one and then five. And plus oh, five. Right. Yeah. Um. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, no, that's it. Okay. That's how it goes. So, Bianca's going to shuffle around to flank with you. That's and annoying. Why? Because I didn't hit. I'm just oh. being salty, don't mind me. Uh, <laughs> then she is going to... She's going to do three unarmed attacks. Um, uh, let's, let's see how she goes with these. First one, that's going to miss. Second one, that's a natural one. Uh, that's cocked. That looks more like it. That one's going to hit. Excellent. Um, it's not going to be much damage. It's 1d6 plus 4. Uh, so that's 8 points of damage. But where it might uh, be really helpful is uh, it is going. she's going to use a stunning strike on that one. Uh, and the dragon has to make a... Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, a constitution saving throw. It's 
good at these, I believe, but it's still Fingers worth crossed. A shot. Constitution saving throw. Right, roll a one. Um, no. No, that's 25. Um, yeah. All right. So, uh, Bertie. Oh, um, I'm going to magic missile as AK Eldritch Blast. Yep. Him. Yep. Yep. That's within range. So, uh, one of them's an 18, so that's not going to hit. The other one's a 19, so that does hit. That does hit. Yes. Okay. So that's um, 1d10 plus charisma. 1d10. Oh boy. So eight damage altogether. Eight damage, eight not too damage. shabby. Okay. So not too first bad he for hits a it with some radiant light and then he hits it with some like cursed oh. light. Uh, the dragon um, is going to. Uh, actually, let's see if it gets its breath back. Let's see by rolling this d6. I don't know. It does not. I don't think it does. Oh, thank you. There was no straight lines anyways, anywhere that I could yeah, see. Yeah, no one else. So it wouldn't uh, have mattered anyways. Uh, mm. It is going to use its multi-attack. Um, Yay. So it's going to start Good with luck, Human. Presence, uh, which Speaking. I believe everyone is uh-huh. Is that a charm? Of. Anya. Yeah, Anya is. But actually, actually... Can someone confirm whether yeah. there is 120 feet between oh. Bertie and the dragon or not? Um, meanwhile, I'm going to roll for NPCs. And that's not charming, is it, Darby? Oh. It's frightening it. No. Uh, it's a, fr- it's so a frightening it. So that's 100 yeah. Yeah. feet from there. 100, so... And then... Yeah, no, it's... Yeah. We're all within range. Yeah. yeah. What are we rolling? <laughs> Uh, it is a wisdom saving throw. Is this a charm? Uh, it is a fight. It is a fear effect of charm. Oh, and half an has to roll too. Hey, that's not yeah. bad. 21 uh, for 30. Anya's vomit. Okay, cool. Session. <laughs> like, my girl, bad. She's like, um, like in certain fantasy series, like, um, by maybe Tolkien, you could say. <laughs> okay. um, like, all the archers trying to attack the dragon, but you can't get the... Like, like she's just she's just missing the weak yeah. spot. Yeah. Uh, Bertie? 21. 21. Yeah, you saved from fear. Bertie's just like, oh, I see this all the time. Whatever. Zero. <laughs> oh, seriously? Oh! Uh, one. Sorry, <laughs> you know what? This is a, the weapon as written, but oh, Romeo oh. will oh, save no. against your sword. <laughs> And sure. Anya. Uh, so Anya got a five and Hafrin got a ten. Oh. They are both afraid. Hell yeah. What does that mean? So. Uh, 17. 17. Okay. Was that a you wisdom are, save? Yeah. Yeah. You are not, you are not possessed by your sword. Yeah. But you are frightened. So a frightened creature has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of its fear is within line of sight and the creature can't willingly move closer to the source of its fear. Now it gets to do its attacks. Oh, great. Um, Which is uh, one bite and two claws, which it's going to go for... Um, it's Bye. gonna go for the bite on you and the two claws. Um, I will be using my spring shield. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the bite. Natural 20. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. no. That's um, a great. So and I, I made the decision there not to use Uncanny Dodge, which was a mistake. Because that's. They both take up my reaction, so. Oh, yeah. no. I'm probably down. Um, In fact, I am down. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look. Ugh. So that is. Uh, you do. It is hard though, because you are resistant to light. No. No, this isn't. Fighting. Like, oh, Eighteen yeah. points of piercing damage. How much? Eighteen. Yeah. Is that it? Uh, no. And surely not. Uh, Ten half to five points of lightning damage. That could oh, be yeah, worse. That's like, yeah, that's amazing. That. I am still up. <laughs> yeah, jeez. Just, right. that's so lucky. Um, and now two claws on Bianca. 
Uh, those, set off for sure. those are both going to hit. Mm. Um, 2d6. Um, 4 plus so 11. Uh, 18. 25. Uh... No, she's she's up because she wow. didn't take anything from the lightning before. Oh yeah, oh, that's right. That's excellent. A monk. I yeah. forgot. Sorry, it's late here, folks, yeah. and I've had a long day. <laughs> We're almost done. The dragon doesn't have all that much health left. Uh, Vola is me. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right. So she is going to bridge that gap, um, and. And uh, two attacks on the dragon. Oh yeah! So that one's gonna miss. Let's go, lesbians! Let's go! <laughs> uh, that one is going to hit, though, because uh, that's a natural fifteen. Um, Ola, uh, uh, so she's gonna use a first level smite on the damage as well. Excellent. Oh, yes. uh, so, there's 1d8 plus uh, 2d6 of fire plus uh, 2d8 of smite. So, 5, 10, 21, 22. Uh, 26 points of damage she does to the dragon. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. That is her turn. Oh, Vol. Um, it is Olaf's go. Second turn, he is going to cast... Um, oh, did any of the NPCs get frightened? Uh, uh, yes, Olaf did. Okay. Oh, he can't move. Uh, no, he can't. Well, he can, he just can't move towards. Yeah. So he's going to cast... Yeah, no, he's not going to do that. Um, That's really hard good at fighting, right? Yeah. (laughs) Um, How far is he? Ah... yeah, no, he's too far to use um, use haste on someone. He's 65 feet from yeah. the dragon. I think he's he's gonna try to use just a fireball at regular level. Um, dragon doesn't say, does it? Good. Uh, what we like to hear. Half legendary resistance to this age. Yes, it does. Oh, great. <laughs> Awesome, so glad. So it, it chooses to save. <laughs> really? Um, and I didn't roll very high. 10, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 points of damage. It's, it's, it's almost like uh, the, the fear weakened uh, yeah. the potency of uh, well, I don't know, Olaf's like 18 magic. points of damage is more than what I can do, so I think uh, it's pretty good. Cool. Tolak. It's your cat. Is <laughs> Again, the uh, competent dragon fighter. He's, he's, uh, he's designating the dragon his prey, which gives him an extra d6 of damage. Um, so two attacks. Uh, one hits, one does not. Uh, so that is... 20 points of damage. This is exactly like how the last dragon slain went. <laughs> because we're just along for the ride. We're just there. The yeah, we're just watching. And Newman's <laughs> trying to do something, but yeah. We've done a, we've done a bit. Newman, yeah. just, Newman's done a bit. Oh, yeah. Bernie's done, done a bit. bit. Bernie's done a shit all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Yeah. It's so much fun when you can't um, hit anything. Oh, that should have been halved. That should have been halved from Tolok. Um, Newman. Question. No, if I it wouldn't be Newman. my wand... Hey? It wouldn't be Newman, Darby, because Bertie hasn't done anything oh, right. again. When is Bertie in this? Uh, 
Oh, let's Sorry. just say Newman goes next. That's fine. No, Bernie. Yeah, Bernie. Bernie's uninterested. I do, in fact, go after you, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just going to do Magic Missile again. Jay, how many goes have you had? I believe I've only had two. Two. Yeah, no, you've you've had you had to go that round. It just took a while between like the dragon and that because that was the round of magic missile. Because you've done one was the guiding bolt, one was magic missile. All right, I'll just trust this, that. This was only that's the fine. second round of combat. There's a lot of people in this. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's fine. Keep going. Um, yeah, because you went in between. Um, you you go in between the, the monk and yeah, the it's dragon. Fine. Yeah, it's fine. I don't mind. Yeah. 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 Um, all right, using a wand in melee, does that count as casting a spell? Yes. So, and casting a spell in melee is that some form no. of disadvantage? Oh, okay, cool. Well. I it's am a going to spell than maybe, but it's magic missile. So yeah, it it auto hits. Yes. Yeah. And you use six charges of one of magic missile, which is one below six. its max. Uh, I believe that's eight missiles. And I will also be using my bonus action to drink a potion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's roll, roll me the eight d four. Plus eight, I believe what? it is. Two. Yeah. Just take some d four. I have a couple. Four. Thanks. Right, I'll just roll this twice. Yeah. <laughs> oh my Jesus. god, tragedy has yeah. struck. So 8, 9, uh, 11, 12, 13, 16, 20 damage. Plus the 8. Excellent. So 28. 28. All right. And then I will be drinking a potion of greater healing, All which right. I think is 40 f- plus eight. This those? dragon is looking incredibly shaky, guys. Excellent. Um, cool. Anya. Maybe Anya will get hit in yeah. this time. Yeah. So but redeem herself. Yeah, roll to hit so. at disadvantage. That's fucked up. The disadvantage <laughs> hit. That, that's two fifteen. Wow. So. Oh wow. So, so in the desperation Plus. and fear, you finally managed to hit this Excellent. thing. Excellent. And there's people within five feet. But so. you're at disadvantage, which cancels out sneak attack. Fuck off. That's <laughs> all right. She still gets her it's um, shaky, necrotic so damage. Who knows? So, um, for the heck. You do get to repeat your saving throw at the end of each go. So Newman, repeat your saving throw for the fear. Sure. Uh, nine. Nine. Not enough. Uh, yeah, not enough for all of Thirteen damage. Thirteen. Yes. All right. Looking incredible. And I'll shaking. do my saving throw. All right. Shit. Um. Yep, it was shit. That's <laughs> a twelve. All right. Oh, no. Uh, Bianca is going to go with uh, three flank hits. Come on, Bianca. Uh, Surely this will kill it. Good. Uh, or natural 19, so plus Excellent. So that's that's a natural hit. 20. Wow. Oh, yeah. Goodbye, um, dragon. She should, she should, well, she'd be getting advantage anyway, so that's a natural 20. Oh, wow. Well, the dragon. emperor is there more we go. competent um, than us. <laughs> So that is. Uh, it's amazing. Despite her genetics, she's actually like a great at doing 18. stuff. <laughs> well, it's 30. Um, 43 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, wow. Yeah. It Surely is it's dead. Barely hanging on. Oh, my God. Bertie, it is your go. Oh, okay. I'm going to miss. All right. Free Magic miss. Magic missile. You have, we can claim the whole have, thing is our victory. Do you have a, a save-based offensive spell? Yeah, but like it's like wisdom. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Do you have one that's intelligent? But because he gets disadvantage. Not on saves. Free and we're back after consulting some rule books. Cool. Um, so... Um, all of you guys are, I guess, you're all focused on the dragons, so you don't look behind you to see Bertie kind of, like, make, put, clap his hands together and then make, like, a, like a sphere shape with his hands, like, get a round shape with his hands, and then expand his hands out, 
and um, suddenly, yeah, while he's doing that, around the dragon, this sphere shape comes around it and it expands outwards as um, a whole, like, yeah. Oh, that's actually really bad because everyone, okay, all of you guys around the dragon also see this, suddenly see this as like this, um, like dark gateway, like a dark expanse, expands all around you into like this, like, So we're galaxy. in there as well? Yeah, yeah you're Ooh. all in there. So it's a gateway through the dark between the stars, a region infested with unknown horrors. Oh. So it's it's like every, suddenly everything is completely black for all of you in that area, and it's bitterly cold. Newman's like, not this again. <laughs> well, not darkness again. Oh, yeah, true, yeah. Ah, this. Cool. Oh, but yeah. Yeah, but like that's an effect, so that doesn't actually yeah. do any immediate damage. It doesn't when it's the dragon's turn. When everyone who starts the round in that <laughs> takes damage, yeah. it doesn't, yeah. Yeah, so, so you can easily cast this on the dragon, which actually failed its save, and it's so low, I'm not going to worry about the... Uh, okay, we'll, we'll just assume the, it works that way. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so roll your dice. Let's see, okay, Dub, you're gonna have to cut this out again. The Hunger of Hater does not have an actual roll to hit thing. It's just oh, a, it's an area but the of drag, effect. The dragon is, yeah, so it's it's a saving throw. And but the problem is, it, the the damage attack will start is in the start of the turn in the area, so it's not an immediate. It attack. It actually goes immediately after you though. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Cool. Like, Dragon's turn. Yeah. So um, roll me the two d six cold. Yeah. Okay. There we go. And that is 10 cold damage. And that that does it. So describe how the tentacles oh, okay. take okay. this dragon. <laughs> like, I don't even think you guys would see it. Like, you guys wouldn't see it because it's magical darkness. So Bianca does. You just... <laughs> okay, so it's only her. I think. Like, you guys suddenly see this expanse of, like, a little black gal- like a galaxy, I suppose. This dark black blackness just bleeds out all around you. You can't see anywhere around you. Unfortunately, you hear, like, these horrifying, like, slurping noises. <laughs> and you feel, like, weird. Like, you feel sorts of things go up next to you. But Bianca sees those tentacles um, in, like, sharp detail, I suppose, as they, um... I don't know, like, they, they grab the dragon and, like just take it down somewhere where like I don't know yeah like it's like tear they, it apart they tear it apart done okay yep that's what <laughs> happens I guess alright so that's there we go the dragon slain cool and then Brody immediately uh, well and like I guess he would sense that it's dead I don't know yeah. <laughs> well, you, can, you can see up. into the dark. Oh, yeah, he can see. Yeah. Yep. So as soon as he sees that, it stops struggling. I suppose it just um, he just claps his hands together and it's gone. All right. So um, as as soon there as uh, yeah, as soon as as soon as you manage this, uh, like yeah, once you manage this, you you start. You, you drop it so as not to also harm your allies. Yeah, and also so they don't turn around and go, hey, it's Birdie. Yeah. Um, and we'll, we'll, quick, we'll quickly mention that, like, you go through the, um, the, the Horde of the Dragon. Okay, um, yep. I can't quite remember um, what we were getting, whether or not it was, it was a specific an artifact, artifact well, you or we weren't sure what the artifact we is, sure but it was what. likely there would be an artifact. Um, and among other things, and we can go into further detail next session over, like, what you find uh, okay. in there and good. how much gold you managed to get between That's you. what I want to know. Um, it's, it's a lot. Um, <laughs> But Finally, <laughs> it's gonna be like curse bathing will be full in once it. again. <laughs> like, like in the in the tens of thousands of both gold and like, like it's approximately ten thousand gold and ten thousand platinum each. Like, can I just quickly say cut. when we go into the like like Birdie's expression is indecent. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> the view of this. <laughs> we step into the oh, oh boy. Like drooling. Like. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You you manage uh, to find uh, an artifact of like uh, something that seems like it it is unfathomably ancient in in craft and design hmm. um 
I... Uh, I reckon it's for you. Oh, there's very spooky music on. I'm the Eldritch Salesman. It is a a uh, a blue, um, a a pale blue staff. Okay. Um, with with a kind of crescent moon head to it. Okay. Um. Uh. It, it, <laughs> uh. You, you have identify through your book of shadows. Yeah, I do. So you you spend that. a bit of time with it uh, to identify it, and you pick up that this is an item known as the moon staff. Okay. Um, <laughs> Get it? Because there's a moon on it. <laughs> um, legendary artifact of the god Loomis. Um, while okay. holding the staff, you gain a bonus to spell attack rolls and the saving throw DCs of your spells. In addition, you can use an action to regain one expended spell slot. If the expended spell slot was a fourth level or higher, the new sp- slot is third level. Um... I just noticed a typo in here <laughs> that okay. I'm going to change no by the time I give it. you the card next week. Yep. Uh, or next session. Uh, you have resistance to cold damage while you hold this staff. Uh, okay. You can cast the spell Moonbeam with the staff using your saving throw DC. Once you cast Moonbeam in this way, you cannot cast it again until the next dawn. Okay, cool. So, um, like, I've got, like, a, you- a Sailor Moon one, basically. <laughs> I'm a magical boy. <laughs> And you sense that there's probably further powers that this staff um, could have. Um, okay. If you were to spend enough time with it and getting used to it. It's a great conversation starter if you're trying to, like, get with a werewolf or something is what you're saying. <laughs> um, Excellent. Noted. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, I got a staff. Nice. Yes. And there's a lot of money everywhere. And you all level. Oh, Yay. okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll take that. I mean, like, it's we didn't time. do much. No. no we, I, you fought <laughs> a dragon. Oh, yeah. Did we die? You fought a... Did we die? They fought a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> like we Anya were there and- when a dragon was killed. No, yeah. you Human were there, there while Human your ally almost died and did significant damage. Yeah. <laughs> Newman fought a dragon. If you won't take it, Newman is taking it. Bernie did the killing blow. No, no, so no, 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 killing An blow. unknown force did <laughs> yeah, the killing yeah. blow as far as Newman's away. Yeah. But also, like, I, th- I think the bulk of it was, like, Bertie, Newman, and Orloth. Yeah. Also, I'm I don't know who is there. Bertie's yeah. daughter. Is Bertie she going to own, Is Bertie going to claim that kill? <laughs> I'm very I, I curious. I don't know. I guess we'll have to role play it. <laughs> um, yeah, right. probably not. So, if people question it. <laughs> so no uh, one killed the dragon. Yeah. Until, until next time. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for listening. Thank you. See you next time. Sorry for listening. Goodbye. Toodles. Bye. Bye.